What's going on folks? So I got a viewer request video here for y'all today. I'm going to be checking out the band Arvendil and the name of the song is Warrior. Never really heard of this band before. I'm really excited to check this out. And like I said, there's a viewer request. This song was requested by this ranger right here. Thank you. And uh, without further ado, let's give this bad boy a listen, shall we? Rangers, go.
I really like the uh, like the intro and the outro and, and the whole dual vocals thing, you know, because the intro and the outro are really nice. They feel interconnected. It really rounds out the song, you know, kind of ending sort of the way it began. So, uh, you know, I always like that. It helps the song feel nice and concise and, and a complete piece. But, yeah, the female vocals were really, really great. Really kind of set the stage there in the intro, nice and melodic, nice and kind of atmospheric and, and all that. And then I love how then the guitars come in and, and there's an edge to the guitars. They're, they're kind of heavy and it, it really picks up the pace. So, you know, it was really cool to, to begin the song like that and then to roll into kind of some heavy, edgy guitars that's kind of head banging. And then the song kind of takes off. You really have the guitars really firing on all cylinders, just driving the song forward with the, the tempo. And, um, and then you get the male vocals come in for kind of the, the meat of the song. And, you know, it, it just worked really, really well. I just liked that whole dynamic. It was, it was just done really well. You know, I, I like the verses and I really like the chorus. You know, it, it kind of had to grow on me at, at first. I wasn't sure, but as the song went, the chorus really kind of grew on me. Has a nice melody, a uh, nice sound. The, the keyboard work is done really well, adding a, a nice layer of sound uh, to the, the rest of the song. You know, you really have the guitars kind of chugging along. And then you have the, the keyboards providing a bit of a symphonic element, a, a bit of a, a musical blanket, you know, if you will, for the song. And adding an extra quality to it as well, helping it sound a little bit more mystical or magical and all that. And, and just the melodies in general, you know, this song, it, it really has the, a nice fantasy kind of element to it, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, I really like the, the male vocals as well. You know, I already said I really enjoyed the female vocals, but I also really like the male vocals. And the guitar work was done really well. I, I like all the little buildups throughout the song, you know, the guitar. Da, 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 and then like you get the, the, the melody, uh, the, the vocal melody and all that. And with the keyboard enhancing the sound. And just like I said, just giving it that real nice kind of fantasy element uh, to the song. But yeah, there's a lot of nice little buildups, nice work with the, the drums with some fills that, that kind of build into when, you know, everything comes back in together. And uh, yeah, I like the guitar work a lot and the, the keyboard work was done really well and just the use of the, the dual vocals did a, a really nice job of... Uh, just bringing a, an extra element to the song and the way it, it kind of ends the way it begins it, it just had a, had a nice feel to it so you have like kind of the the in cap the beginning and end caps and then you have like the the meat of the song that's a little bit more aggressive you know the the tempo picks up it becomes quite speedy and then you have like those heavier moments and all that uh, really great melodies throughout and then Again, you, you get that kind of somber piano kind of driven outro. Just uh, a nice job. Nice job. It really sounds kind of like a classic power metal type of song. Something that, you know, wouldn't sound out of place in the 2000s era of power metal. It just kind of had that quality. I think part of it is the, the production quality, you know, of, of the song. It sounds a bit, a little bit dated, you know, to like kind of the 2000s era not quite as modern and not quite as crisp and polished, but you know, it, it still sounds good and it just sounds a touch dated, but not bad, not like in a bad way. Uh, so, you know, I enjoyed it, you know, it has, has a good mix and, and mastering and production quality to it that, like I said, sounds a, a little bit dated, but not in a bad way. You know, it just reminds me of kind of some of the 2000s era stuff that I was listening to back then. And, yeah, it just has a classic feel to it. Well done. Solid song. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say about it. I enjoyed it. Definitely a band I'm going to keep my eye on. I'm not sure if they're still releasing material or, or what have you, but definitely going to start following these folks so I can be up to date. So thank you so much to the Ranger who requested this song. 
uh, let me know, folks, in the comments down below. Are you familiar with this band? Have, have you been listening to them for some time? Or is this your first time listen? What do you think of it? Let's talk about it all in the comments below. And I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.